guys. Just sitting out here. Uh, got home about a couple hours ago. And I came home to this. It is a Paco Box. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Paco Box is a bi-monthly giveaway. It's approximately $50. And it's all hand-selected. Uh, Creek Stewart is the next big thing in survival. Uh, those of you have probably seen him from Fat Guys in the Woods. Excellent show, excellent concept, that is. And it, it he's, he's got something good going here. It's it's all thought through. It's very, these have a lot of effort put into them. So, without further ado, let's dig right in. Alright. First off, we got a packing list. Has descriptions on everything that's in here. Each box comes with a skills challenge, all right. as well as it also comes with all the prices. And it's also got, uh, you always have an ad for something. This is the it's got for a learning workshop this time as well as a horse bow kit. Right. So now put that off to the side. All right. First off, we have a bark cup training kit. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. It, so Aboriginal woodcraft. It comes with comes with instructions. And he has that valued at twelve dollars. Right. Next, we have a paracord bracelet kit. Uh, this comes with four buckles and ten feet of paracord and a how-to instruction card on the basic cobra braid. All right. Put that over here. Next, this is the skills challenge. It's how to carve your own Paiute deadfall. This one gives you the pre-carved pieces, got one right there, and those right there, and then you obviously got the blocks here to carve it with instructions, so, very nifty. Alright, ooh, I've been wanting one of these. This here is a Cajun reel, or a Cajun hand reel. Oh, Cuban is what it's referred to as. This has like a, a sort of Carolina rig on it. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. Yeah. Just a, looks like a two odd hook. And a, probably a half ounce egg sinker. With basic instructions how to use it and different ways you can set it up. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, what is this? It's here. It's 
survival horn. It says it was free. So, hmm. Uh, I ordered these survival horns because I thought they were interesting. Note, do not remove the latex, move the cap because the latex membrane will come loose. Just blowing the hole on the side. So I'm guessing that one right there. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see this. That'll piss people off. I'm not gonna do it because my neighbors will hate me. Uh, oh, it does say use them to drive your neighbors insane. Okay, back to business. All right. Uh, kindling material. A get into the woods patch. I like the no couch symbol. Another ad. Handmade wood products. Um, hmm. Mutton tallow. Uh, is this like the tallow taste of, you know, venison fat? Oh, that look yummy. Looks kind of like bomb. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> it, it, it smells like yeah, it smells like deer fat. Okay. Uh, $7 for this little tin. Um, since 1895, this company, the Miss McQueen's. There's some decent information here. I know a lot, I should say. More than anything else. But, I digress. Uh, a beaver tooth chisel. This is part of their tool series. I think I got a couple projects that could use this. One last thing, American flag tin. God bless her. Right. We got some little lights. I believe they call them lanterns in this. Uh, if it were darker out, I'd show you guys. But then, what's that? Ooh. <laughs> the all-important folding spark. <laughs> okay. Not bad. It's got the same Stanley clasp as, or clasp as Stanley tools, I should say. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I think this is what I've been looking for for my one-day pack. And Tabasco. Because you gotta spice things up a bit, don't you? <laughs> Alright. Oh no. 
all in all, pretty good. Uh, rough math, about 100 bucks here, it says. So, I'll have to do a, um, a video making the Paiute Deadfall. Most definitely. So, pretty so cool. Yeah, this was the Paco Box, April 2016. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, the I I'm sorry I haven't posted. Uh, I've been real busy lately doing uh, two jobs here. So I'm going to try and post at least once a month. Uh, so bear with me and I'll see you back here soon. Later guys.